Okay, 9.3 beats. This is a really short lesson, but I think it's a really cool topic. So let's take a look. We already talked a bit about this in class when we were looking at the guitar and how we were tuning it. So a beat is a periodic change, a periodic change in loudness caused by interference between two um, two similar sound waves. So when you have two sounds that are very similar to each other, and by similar I mean they have a very close frequency to each other, then they actually um, they will interfere in a very interesting way. We have a picture below of such a relationship, and you can see that um, in this frequency here, right around here, they seem to have very, very, very similar patterns, but you can see that one has just a slightly longer wavelength, or a slightly um, different frequency than the other, so that they start spreading apart. And so you can see that at this point, where they're together, they're right on top of each other, they add together, and they create a really nice big wave. But then you can see as time goes on, I'm going backwards right now, but we could go forwards as well, you'll see that eventually I get to a point here, where this thing is at a maximum, and the other one is at a minimum, and they actually are fully cancelling each other out at that point. And you see that we get a zero, where those two um, waves have cancelled each other out at that point. And same with if we followed it over to this point forward in time, we got a zero there. Well, we can keep on going and the waves line up again over here, so we get a maximum. And so you see what happens is it creates what's called an envelope here of loudness. So that our wave over time is quiet, then loud, then quiet, then loud again, then quiet again. And we have this sort of, um, this beat pattern. Okay, so that's what a beat is. It's where the sounds together fluctuate. Really quiet, really loud, quiet, loud, and they create this sort of um, beat frequency. So the beat frequency is the frequency of beats, the frequency of beats, of beats, produced by this interference. Oop, pro hang on. Produced by this interference. And it turns out we have an equation for it. It's a very, very, very easy equation. We can say that Fb, the beat frequency, is equal to the magnitude of F2 minus F1. So if I have two frequencies that are very close to each other, they will produce a beat frequency where it gets louder and quieter at this new beat frequency. Okay, if that's not entirely clear, let's try out a problem. John is tuning his guitar. His string I produces a frequency of 442 hertz, and his tuner produces a frequency of 440 hertz. What beat frequency does John hear? Well, our equation, Fb, is equal to the magnitude, F2 minus F1. And notice magnitude, it just means we take the absolute value. So there's no negatives here. Okay, so I can take my second frequency, 442, minus my first frequency, 440. It doesn't matter the order of these. I could have done 440 minus 442. Gets the same result of 2 hertz. And that's the answer. That means that when he's tuning his guitar, he will hear a fluctuation in loudness going from quiet to loud back to quiet again at a frequency of 2 hertz. So he'll hear that fluctu fluctuation 2 times a second when he's tuning his guitar. That's the whole lesson. 
you've got two problems to try that out. I hope you enjoy them.